And still in our news, the Nigerian Guild of Editors, NGE, has called on the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, to rescind with immediate effect the 5 million naira fine it imposed on Nigeria Info 99.3 FM radio station in Lagos for allegedly providing its platform to be used to promote unverifiable and inciting news that can incite public disorder. The NBC had cited the unprofessional ca conduct of Nigeria Info 99.3 FM in the handling of the program Morning Crossfire, which aired on August 10, 2020, between 8.30 a.m. and 9 a.m. The NBC alleged that guest uh, May Lafia Obadiah made unverifiable and inciting views that could lead to public disorder. In a statement signed by the president of the Guild, Mustafa Isad, the Guild uh, said it finds the action of the NBC grossly undemocratic and illegal, having not gone through the recommendation and mandatory due process for its review. The Guild maintains that no fine is justified until the Iran station is given fair hearing an opportunity to defend its uh, actions or inactions in a court of competent jurisdiction. And joining us live is the President of Nigerian Guild of Editors, Mustafa Isa. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, good afternoon to you. Going through your release, the tone was that uh, was that of an order. Let me understand what the reaction has been of, um, of the NBC to your statements. Well, as of today, we do not have any reaction from the NBC. But we may not even get any reaction from them. But uh, we made a position very clear to them, uh, to the government, that the inclusion of that five million dollar fine on. Uh, Niger Ifo um, FM station was illegal, stemming from the fact that what transpired at that um, program was not his speech. And uh, we do know that actually the, the claims made by uh, Melafia, former deputy of the, of the CBN, uh, had some issues and it was invited by the DSS, which was the right thing to do. But you cannot hold the media accountable for this. I don't see anything incited there. You know, DSS has invited him to clarify his position. That is it. Then two, imposing family on fine on the station because an interview conducted with the open, I don't think uh, is, 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 is uh, makes any sense to us. You know, then secondly, as we speak today, there is no law defining his speech in Nigeria. And the NBC said, if you say you found guilty of his speech, we will impose five million dollar fine on it. Come on, take on feet. Even the governing board of the NBC has distanced itself from the recent review of the fine of five million dollar on any session that embarks on any his speech. So, based on that, there is no foundation for that five million dollar fine imposed on Niger All right, let's also that talk about. Said, yeah. That uh, um, file should be listed. Let's also talk about the amended code, you know, that um, moves the fine from 500,000 to 5 yeah. million naira. Are you also calling for a reversal yeah. to 500,000? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And, exactly. Uh, and and um, what's also your suggestion on how the government can regulate hate speech? You see, we, we have say who defines hate speech? What is hate speech? You get the point. We, we are not yet, there's no law yet on it. I may not support the fact that some people are back on deliberate disinformation or excitement to try to um, join um, um, some ethnic groups together or incite religious disharmony. I will not subscribe to that. You know, but the fact is, as we speak today, there is no law to def define this speech. You know, so everybody just let decide for yourself what a speech means. You know, we don't have to come out here to tell us what is the definition of his speech. We know that there is a correct law now in the National Assembly on against his speech. But now law has only passed. So the question is, what will the NBC rely on to determine whether a station as a... Um, um, I mean, broadcast any hate speech. That's the question. Hello. You know, so we, 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 the media should be free to exercise responsibility or yeah, put the government accountable to the people. I was just going to ask that now. Um, yeah. do, do you feel that this is in any way going to 
um, gag free speech of the media? And what is the Nigerian Guild of Editors willing to do to continue to promote the freedom of the press and freedom of the media? That is why we have come up to, 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 I mean, to oppose this uh, uh, fine imposed on Nigeria Info. Because as it is today, as the broadcast uh, stations, we are living in fear that if you do this now, it might impose fine on us by the NBC. So we, and that alone will lead to what I refer to as uh, self-censorship. Fear of heavy fine by the NBC. And if we keep on having that fear, we will not be able to do our job the way we ought to do it. That is, calling government, um, to hold the government to account, to, I mean, to the people, and raising critical issues in, in our, in our, in our, doing our jobs. So that, that is just is exactly the way it is. Mustafa Issa, the president of uh, Nigerian Guild of Editors, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. The news continues shortly after this break.